वंस अगेन वी आर बैक ऑन एक मून सोच की टी टॉक ट्रेन ऑफ एंड थॉट विद सीरीज ऑफ एन एपिसोड विद डॉक्टर भरत कुलकर्णी हु हैड गॉट अ मेजर एक्सपोजर एज फार एज एग्री बिजनेस विच आर कंसर्न लाइक बेसिकली वेन वी टॉक इन टर्म्स ऑफ एन एग्रीकल्चर पॉलिसीज ग्लोबली विच इज कंसर्न यू गॉट अ मेजर एक्सपोजर एंड इट ट्रेवल्स बिटवीन द एफ्रीकन कंट्री एंड द इंडिया फॉर डीप अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट एन एग्री बिजनेस एंड कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टूवर्ड्स एग्री पॉलिसीज विच आर कंसर्न and uh, i think equally uh, there are the number of challenges if you look at the entire value chain uh, dr bharat kulkarni now in this episode uh, we are going to talk in terms of the entire value chain which is uh, concerned right from uh, the import to the uh, retailing aspects which are uh, which are concerned now one uh, challenge if you see in the value chain is a poor quality of and seeds and uh, the poor quality of the product at the harvest uh, uh, we talk in terms of and grain which is there like you know uh, which is inconsistent in size how we can overcome the, those kind of challenges looking at this uh, value chain concept see uh, i think uh, challenge in terms of seeds challenge in terms of inputs and challenge in terms of vary, varying quality of output mm. this has been one of the major reason why uh, the profitability in the agriculture sector is not uh, uh, say uh, as much as it should be mm-hmm. now if you actually go to the grassroots level uh, the seeds it's it's a, it's a cyclical reaction mm-hmm. uh, so the quality of the seeds whatever farmer grows he retains it as a seed so if the product quality is not good then the quality of input would not be good the mm-hmm. seeds are not good it goes into uh, a bad harvest again the the the, the same thing continues mm-hmm. and uh, that that is where i think we have to work on making the seed sector more reliable mm-hmm. more affordable mm-hmm. because uh, a lot of uh, times what happens is you 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 depend on seed the seed becomes so expensive that it is prohibitively uh, expensive for a farmer to use it so we do not have a very structured supply chain of seeds mm-hmm. and that is where we need to work at second thing when it comes to the product quality uh, unless until you create a differentiation for the farmer Mm-hmm. uh to earn better prices based on the quality of output he is not going to uh, be careful about the quality mm-hmm. of output this is uh, and there, there is no mistake of him but it is just an economic decision mm-hmm. uh, i'll tell you how uh, when we started with the project in ethiopia mm-hmm. this year one we for coffee the year one uh, the quality we had a grade 1 to grade 10 uh, marking mm-hmm. now when a uh, grade when when the supply started to come in uh, and we started grading Mm-hmm. Uh, we realize that most of the supplies are coming in in grade six, seven, eight. Mm-hmm. So that's the lower bend of the grade, uh, mm-hmm. uh, quality band. Uh, prices were given accordingly for every grade. There was a different price differential, and uh, farmers could note it. Mm-hmm. Next year, when the uh, deposit started to come in, we started to see that it has moved to uh, say five, six, seven, or uh, four, five, six. Majority of the supplies, which were six, seven, eight, mm-hmm. have moved to four, five, six, mm-hmm. and that was mainly because the farmer realized mm-hmm. that if I take care of my product in a better way, mm-hmm. small things which I do right, mm-hmm. I'm I'm remunerated sufficiently. Mm-hmm. So it's not that the tree started to give a better uh, crop every uh, next year. Mm-hmm. It's not that uh, the the uh, the structuring of the value. and started to uh, affect the production nothing he was doing the same thing only thing he started to do was focus more attention on uh, say harvesting and post harvest handling so that he retains the quality he mm-hmm. became quality conscious mm-hmm. today if you go to the uh, mandi you see the the, the there is no st- no 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 objective standards of grading mm-hmm. the the trader comes in he just picks it up just uh, tosses it in the air and says oh this is not a good quality mm-hmm. quality and he says i am not going to pay you cannot yes uh, so when you actually have a scientific mechanism of uh, quality certifications how mm-hmm. many mandis in india have quality certification mm-hmm. very very few right. so that is where we have actually been as a country we have been uh, for, for 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 multiple reasons we have been completely oblivious to the importance of quality mm-hmm. and that is why the farmer has also decided that if i if, even if i grow a better quality product and i spend more energy time and money on it uh, at the end of the price. day it is going to be tossed in the market and said it's not good quality okay. so this is another challenge which is there as far as agri business which is concerned and also we talk in terms of an inadequate trashing technology and the post harvest if you see like you know drying and storage which is the biggest challenge how to overcome that like see uh, there has to be community based solution mm-hmm. uh, we have worked on a project in 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 rwanda where we are now uh, providing the farmers with a very low level 
and technology source from India. Mm -hmm. A low level technology platform where value addition, processing, threshing, all these things can be done mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for, for the producer groups as we call mm -hmm. it. Uh, in India, since we are getting the pharma producer companies now established, the pharma, computer, uh, pharma producer organizations becoming more and more uh, structured and uh, farmers coming together in a more uh, responsible manner through the uh, FPOs, I think the time has come where we need to introduce lower cost technologies, mm -hmm. uh, more effective technologies and bring in the uh, uh, the technological innovations, mm -hmm. the cost of technology down through technological innovations. Mm -hmm. And if we start working on that, uh, how many agri incubators we have? Very few. Mm -hmm. That is an area where we need to promote more and more technology uh, uh, innovations and uh, technology adoptions. Mm -hmm. There are initiatives, there is a company in, in uh, which ICAR, uh, the Indian Council for Agriculture Research has set up which is called as Agri Innovate, mm -hmm. which is actually working on uh, bringing in uh, technologies which are suitable for uh, say um, for, for adaptation and making them available to the farmers but we need more efforts or like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so once that thing is done probably we can bring in the cost of uh, technology usage uh, up into the affordable belt for the farmer because at the end of the day even if the farmer does all that value addition it is actually value addition mm -hmm. and if he's not going to get any premium for it mm -hmm. he's not going to do it. No, no, no. Now in fact uh, again uh, we talk in terms of uh, you did given an explanation in terms of and poor quality of and seeds how we need to improvise as well seeds which are concerned also in terms of and threshing technology uh, what one needs to be done but then again in the entire value chain we talk in terms of one challenge which is there uh, it's in terms of an insufficient market development and the communication with the market so how one can bridge that kind of a gap in the entire value chain like see there are very simple solutions to it provided we want to do it mm -hmm. So uh, again, I gave you the, the in earlier episodes, we talked about the Howard experience. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a similar experience in, in, in Ethiopia. Uh, we put up, uh, say, price display boards mm -hmm. in each of the village from where the coffee was coming. Mm -hmm. And we could see that the farmer would look at the price and say, oh, if I have to take my coffee to either, uh, there are two uh, warehouses, uh, uh, say, I would, I would quote. One was a city or, or, or a village called Mithamma. The other was uh, a village called Asosa. Mm -hmm. Now, when he sees in the in the prices, and he says the product deposited in Asosa is yielding better price. I go there. Mm -hmm. So, th what you have done, you have done nothing. Just empowered him with his with information mm -hmm. and let him decide. And then, also importantly, you don't force him to go to the warehouse which is Methama or the, the market which is Methama. Yeah. Today what happens, if the farmer is in a certain particular belt, he has to go to a specific mandi only. Mm -hmm. Even if a mandi, say 20 kilometers away from him, is giving him a better price and better the, the difference is better than the transportation cost, he cannot go and sell there because law doesn't allow it. But here, if we see in India also ITC Chopal concept, which is there again, so they try and give the same kind of an information to the farmers. Is that effective reaching the last mile? As I think ITC Chopal was a wonderful initiative, mm -hmm. but much ahead of time. Mm -hmm. uh, the legal structures were not there uh, mm -hmm. that ITC Chopal requires to actually expand itself mm -hmm. and really uh, make the effective, uh, uh, say, e e effective mark. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, similarly the ENAM project that the government of India has launched, uh, these are initiatives that have actually brought in a wider marketing network. A farmer can actually see, sell on ENAM and ENAM mm -hmm. is integrated market across India. Mm -hmm. So today he is not limited to the Mandi that he is going to. In the Mandi, through the Mandi, he can actually access the national market. Mm -hmm. Unless and until we open up the opportunities for the farmer to sell it in the national market wherever he desires. Mm -hmm. We are not going to create enough marketing channels. We are not going to create enough marketing uh, premiums for the farmer to be remunerated, to, to get remunerative prices. Okay, so it's an excellent insight what we are getting from Dr. Bharat Kulkarni in terms of the entire value chain issues which are there and how to overcome those kind of an issues which are there. I'm sure like, if we address those kind of an issues and we look from the perspective of an, uh, farmers like you know, how basically we can empower them so that they can also uh, make their uh, like you know, healthy economic uh, aspects which are which are there but again various steps needs to be taken in bridging up those kind of and gaps and the challenges which do exist 
uh, I'm sure uh, the kind of an uh, insights as far as the agribusiness which are concerned, we are getting good kind of an insights uh, from Dr. Bharat uh, Kulkarni. And our next episode, we are going to talk in terms of uh, the agriculture policies which do exist, what one needs to be done on that. Uh, till then, if you like this episode, just go to www.ttalk.net. Uh, subscribe and like the channel as much as you can. So thanks a lot for being part Thank of this you episode. Much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.